hello students and everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to teach you figure of speech part 4 english grammar a figure of speech is a word or phrase that possesses a separate meaning from its literal definition there are different types of figure of speech in english language different figures of speech are having separate meanings and separate definitions onomatopoeia onomatopoeia is the figure of speech it is the use of a word that imitates a sound in onomatopoeia sounds of living and non living things are mentioned in a statement examples of onomatopoeia are given below splish splash i was taking a bath the word splish splash imitates the sound of a bath when someone is taking a bath you are hearing the sound of splish splash hear the bells ring tingling ding when you are ringing the bell the bell makes a sound of tingling ding tingling ding imitates the sound of a bell oing oing when the pig the pig makes the sound of oing 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 imitates the sound of a pig there are other examples of sentences of onomatopoeia given below read these sentences in a few seconds paradox paradox is a figure of speech in which a statement appears to contradict itself in paradox we are allowing the false statement and denying the true statement by saying opposite examples of paradox are given below war is peace the opposite of war is peace how do we get peace if there is a war the statement is false the figure of speech used is paradox freedom is slavery if the slave does work and gets arrested by the owner how do they get freedom the statement is false so the figure of speech is paradox ignorance is strength if you are ignoring to someone who is talking good how do we get strength the statement is false so the figure of speech is paradox my weakness is my strength the opposite of weakness is strength if there is any kind of weakness there is no strength the statement is false so the figure of speech is paradox all the ideas of these four sentences shows a contradict and opposite statement synedoc synedoc is a figure of speech where the part stands for the whole often treated as a part of metonymy synedoc is a figure of speech in which a part of something represents to make a whole thing examples of synedoc are given below i have got wheels i own a car wheels are parts of car if the wheels are fitted to a car car is a whole thing the part of wheels represent car the whole thing so the figure of speech is synedoc england won the world cup when england won the world cup the whole cricket team players of england is holding a cup the world cup represents the whole group of england cricket team players so the figure of speech is synedoc campbell is holding a gala gala is a festive celebration a lots of people are entertaining and performing in a festive celebration different types of performance of people represents gala the whole thing so the figure of speech is synedoc let's begin an exercise now use the figures of speech in the following sentences i heard the humming of bees the figure of speech used is onomatopoeia the word humming imitates sound of a bees raju is feeding four mouths at home the word mouths refers to people the figure of speech used is synedoc four mouths represents the people in bracket whole thing be cruel to be kind the figure of speech used is paradox 
सेल्फ कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी स्टेटमेंट यू कैन सेव मनी बाय स्पेंडिंग इट द फिगर ऑफ स्पीच यूज इज पैराडॉक्स सेल्फ कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी स्टेटमेंट इफ यू अंडरस्टूड फिगर ऑफ स्पीच पार्ट फोर इंग्लिश ग्रामर यू वॉज द फीडबैक और कमेंट्स सब्सक्राइब द चैनल लाइक एंड शेयर थैंक यू